Hi, my name's Rachel and welcome to my channel, La Bricoleuse. In this video, I'll show you how I made this 1940s reproduction hat from a cartwheel hat body with no waist. First, take a cartwheel hat body, as shown at left, and cut the dome of the crown out of it, as pictured at right. The next step is pictured here at left, where you'll cut a piece out of the donut of the brim. And I can't give you an exact measurement on that because all felt cartwheels vary slightly, but it's roughly about a fifth of that donut. I'll call these pieces the brim arc and the fan flange. Next, cut a strip about 5 eighths of an inch wide away from the inner edge of your brim arc, but not your fan flange, as pictured at right here. This will become your hat band. Stitch the brim arc into the crown with about a half an inch overlap of felt, and make your stitches about a quarter of an inch from the cut edge. Don't worry too much about making them beautiful because the band will cover this line of stitching. This is what it should look like when you have sewn the brim arc to the crown fully. And that gap at the back should be slightly narrower than the length of your fan flange piece. Now pin the band into place and secure it with a couple of invisible stitches. At this point, try the hat on to determine how deep you would like the brim to finish. I cut about an inch and a quarter away from mine. And don't throw that strip away. Millinery felt scraps like this can be used to create decorative elements. For the next step, take a tuck in each end of the brim arc. I put this hat on my head and adjusted these to create a shape that I found pleasing. And here, I've pinned those tucks into place with yellow head quilt pins. Now pin the fan flange to the crown at the center back of the hat. Here you can see my stitches securing that tuck in the brim at the left. This is a case where stability is what's important for those stitches. They'll be covered by the decorative element of the fan. Next, cut a strip about 3 eighths of an inch wide at each end of the fan flange. Wrap the strips around the pleated ends of the brim arc and secure them in place with invisible stitches. Cut the remainder of the fan flange into a fringe of strips about a quarter of an inch wide. You'll manipulate these to create the fan detail that adorns the hat. To create that detail, flip each strip over at the tip and tack it to the crown in a splayed arch. Orient those strips so that half of them flip to the left and half of them flip to the right. Now the hat's ready to wear. Try it on several different ways and decide how you think it flatters your face the best. For comparison, here's the original vintage 1940s hat that I found in the costume collection of the theater where I work. This hat was made during the austerity measures of wartime, and it's possible it was made from a recycled wool felt fedora or homburg. Here, the model wears it in a different orientation, featuring the unusual cutwork detail that adorns one side of the hat. 